And then, of course, the lack of leadership surrounding mental health. And this is this is something that it can be intentional. It can be unintentional. You know, it can be unintentional just because of the, the mental health literacy. You know, our supervisors, our, our leadership in our organizations, again, most of them are the old dogs. They're the ones that are long in the tooth. They're the ones that have been doing this for 20, 30 years. It wasn't a thing for them. So it's not going to be on the forefront of their minds because, well, that's not how they did it when they were on the road doing it, when they were out in the field doing it. Um, so it's different. You know, it could be it could be the literacy. It could be the stigma. You know, oh, well, if anybody in my organization, um, if anybody in my organization can't hack it, you know, they, they have a mental health issue, well, they just don't need to be doing the job. Well, that's, that's an incorrect, you know, this is this is an intentional thing at this point. You know, if you're if you're as a leader in your organization, if you're looking at it as well, they just they just can't be trusted to do their job because X, Y, and Z. It's not entirely true. Now, that's not saying there that that it's not, because there are certain situations that can develop or can happen that probably should pull that person back from the front line and maybe look at a back line issue. Um, some may have to leave the 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 organization altogether. It does happen. It does get to that point where things like that are severe enough that that's what needs to happen. But not always, not the majority. You know, most people that are experiencing these stressors and that are experiencing these uh, behavioral health conditions, they can be helped. They can be made whole. They can be brought back. You know, they can be changed to where now they're helping with the the mental health literacy of your organization.